yeah, Leek uh, just continues to, you know, with what he started, he's just been really uh, impressive with how he's locating every pitch and um, you know, the movement looks right. Uh, everything, he's he's doing you know, a terrific job. You talked about how he's worked to make the better sinker look less distinguishable. Have you noticed anything else that, that looks different this year that's been effective? It's just where he's putting every pitch, and he's able to throw every pitch on both sides of the plate. And uh, yeah, just a little more. I'd say that sinker and cutter are closer to the same velocity. Um, but you know, you're kind of working off the middle and running at both sides. That's a tough at bat if you're putting it on the corner. Are you afraid we're going to lose that call on first base there at the end? At the end? Yeah. 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 I knew he uh, stutter stepped, hesitated, and um, you know that's a that's an out we need right there. I think when you get into advantage counts, um, you're free to maybe slow one up and, and throw the breaking ball below the zone if you're in advantage count. Uh, same thing with elevating a four seamer, or, but you know, he's he's going to trust in movement and location, and that's going to get him into the positive counts, and then he's going to figure out how to pitch around the zone to get him back to movement and location to get his out. Always struggled so far, but pitching in and out of a jam like he did tonight is that something he can build on? You know, he's, uh, he's the same guy all the time. You get him in that situation, and he just knows he's going to get it done. Um, unfortunately, we gave him a couple extra outs right there, and that's uh, something that we can't do, and we're, uh, we're improving on. But uh, those, those can come back to bite you for sure. But, um, you know, he's making the big pitches in the big situations. I just know he'd rather stay out of those tougher situations. Um, possibly, uh, you know, I, that, that could possibly be it. I mean, you're afraid to go out there and throw him an inning when you might need him three days in a row with one run lead. So, uh, trying to get him enough work, uh, let him kind of lead on that. The guy knows what he's doing. He knows when he needs to pitch. So we follow his lead. Um, you know, I, I see, a, just a little bit, um, with the slider up in the zone, um, more so than we saw last year. And it's something that he's working on to get that down bite instead of side to side. Um, but he's, he's getting better with it. He throws two to the plate. Is that a double play? Uh, yeah, I think play? it's a double play. The way Yachty throws and the way he, he can make an exchange, I think that's a great chance to double play. Tough play, but good chance. He's a good defender, isn't he? He is a good defender. Yeah, just got a, you know, a couple today. Uh, didn't go how we wanted them to. Yeah, you know, it was really um, Cecil and Bowman, I believe both are, are right there. We can put them in those situations. Um, we needed Brett to get us out uh, of the previous inning, and uh, I think it says a lot about Matt Bowman and uh, how he, uh, whatever role we give him, he seems to do a great job with, and uh, he's as equally effective with the lefties, uh, with the movement and uh, the deception. He's a very important piece right now. Is there a lot of talk to bring in Seacrest in the face of the No, no, that's... You know, uh, we're, we're going to continue to get Kevin into where he's a good in a good place too. But he's, uh, you know, I, I like how we how we finished right there. And you know, definitely when we give the ball to O, it's his game at that point. I see Dexter provide that spark early on. Yeah, yeah, and then uh, nice job on the bases too, where he gets that great jump to be able to to score on a on a check swing. Um, but that was you know aggressiveness all the way around. You know. He, um, you go up there, seeing him taking pitches a little better. He's, he's seeing the ball. Good things are going to happen. So you know, still yeah, I, I love watching Gigi defend. I mean, he's just doing a great job at third base. Um, you know, he's just a he's, he's a fun player, a fun player. He's just very uh, disciplined, um, but just does all the little things right and takes pride in the little things. And, and Martinez has just continued to be uh, just a great addition to our organization. And um, whatever we give him, he seems to over-deliver as well. So he's going to continue to get opportunities. That's one of Diaz's longest dry spells. Do you see anything going on there? Yeah, just a little jumpy right now. He's trying to trying to go get it a little bit. And he's just got to um, you know take a breath. We've we've ridden him pretty hard too. So um, yeah, he's he's doing a nice job. He's ranging better. I mean, he's getting to some good balls and making good throws. And, uh, 
I really like what he's doing defensively, and he needs to keep doing that. Same, you know, you talk with Wong too, just making nice plays and making things happen on the bases and agitating. I mean, uh, they're they're doing some of those little things that we would hope that both would do, regardless of whether they're stacking up a lot of hits or not. Colton talked last night about how he thinks he can get ten to twelve run hits a year. Is that number low, or is that about what you think? He can do? Yeah, I'd say that's that's achievable, pretty easy. I mean, the way he runs, and you know. It, First base or third, he can go both sides. I mean, he runs that well, um, and he's got a, he's got a good idea of when the right time is too. But um, you know, he's and then you start drawing in the infield and you create more opportunities for hits. So he, I think it's a great great part of his arsenal. Might you get the end of the day from, uh, I might, yeah. <laughs>